Hello, my name is Dima Watkins. I am 15 years old. I go to Washburn High School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I was born in 1997 in Perm, Russia. I lived there for about a year in an orphanage before my two dads, John and Andy, came to adopt me and bring me home to Minneapolis. So I've been living in Minneapolis for about 14 years. Uh, during those 14 years, I've developed a lot of interests, uh, such as neurology, psychology, um, astronomy is really interesting. Basically anything that involves technology or science is interesting to me. Um, but I'm interested in a lot of other things as well. Um, I like to do I like to do parkour. If you haven't seen uh, parkour, I find that really fun. Uh, it's what I call a disorganized sports because I'm I've never been good at organized sports, so I call parkour disorganized sport just for fun. Uh, I've been playing chess since I've, I was three years old, I think. This is about 12 years playing chess. Uh, I play the Polish, if you don't know what that is, 1B4. It's a really uh, screwball opening, but it's fun. It works for me. Um, my parents, John and Andy, I, you know, I'm so happy to have the parents that I have. Um, John teaches English and history. Andy teaches English. Um, they're, both, they're both really passionate in what they teach, but uh, they're also knowledgeable in other areas. John, uh, he's, he's, he knows about like almost every single religion existing. You ask him where any country is on, on a globe, he'll point to it in less than a second. It's, you know, he's great. Um, Andy is more sci scientific. He's taking psychology courses, um, yeah, he's very, he does a lot of science-y stuff, while John does a lot of historical stuff, and that's great, and they're both really knowledgeable, so I could, I could ask Andy about something science-related, he'd know, I could ask John about something, you know, historical, he'd probably know, and it's just great, because, you know, you know, you can have a discussion with them about anything, and they, they most likely carry it on, and you'd go for hours. I've had dinners where I'd come down, pl only planning for, you know, 15 minutes spend to spend 15 minutes eating my dinner, and then going back upstairs, and they've lasted about two hours just talking about anything, which is so much fun to me, because I love talking. John loves talking, Andy not so much, but he'll talk if you ask stuff. Um... John is a practicing Catholic, and Andy is a uh, an observant Jew. And uh, I've been to so I've been to Andy's synagogue and John's church. Uh, the communities there are great; they're really nice. Um, I love the uh, the priest that John um, that the church that John goes to. I love the priest there; they're really uh, just really passionate. And they're really, you know, can't really describe them because they're just so, they're just so nice. Um, a synagogue, there are a lot of great people. I actually have a friend there who ha who also has two dads. Uh, he's a great friend. I haven't seen him in a while, though. But, uh, hope to see him soon. Uh, also, my family has a history of living with cats. Uh, we really like cats. Uh, our history has been Muffin, Brandy, and Charlotte. Uh, Muffin, when I was adopted and I came to Minneapolis, our house had two cats, Muffin and Brandy. Uh, and as the years went by, unfortunately, Muffin died of old age. So then we got Charlotte. Um, and then a couple more years went by, and unfortunately, Brandy died due to intestinal blockage, I think. It was really bad. Yeah, but, um... So now we have Charlotte, and she's just, she's a perky, fuzzy cat. I just love perky, fuzzy cats. I love cats in general. Um, it's really nice to have some fuzzy company uh, in the household. That's for all of us. And it's really nice. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just really thankful that I've had a family, a very stable family. You know, when I'm older, I hope to pursue some sort of job in maybe... You know, most definitely technology, science. Uh, I was thinking either astronomer or just going into 
computer science, something like that. You know, really, just science and technology for me. But aside from all that, it's the stuff like that I see. This amendment that states that you know you're allowed to love anyone, but you can't redefine marriage. I, I find this really kind of offensive, actually, and discriminatory, because it's almost like saying that a gay family is less than, you know, a straight family. It's like a straight family is considered normal, even if the husband or wife is an alcoholic and they're abusing them, each other or the child. Whereas, you know, my parents have never, they're, they're really cautious about drinking alcohol. And they, they've never hit me. You know, they never do that. So I just, I don't understand how, how people can support this prejudice towards gay families. Like, children deserve a mom and a dad. But I think children deserve a family that will support them until they go off on their own. And I feel like I'm being supported by my two dads. And it's just, it's wonderful having a, at least a family I know that cares about me. So, I'm really offended by this amendment that's trying to, that's saying that you can't have gay families. I find it discriminatory, and I believe that any children, any child, deserves a family, parents, no matter what sexuality they are.